Hey what's up everybody my name is Preston in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this crazy text flicker animation before I get into the video I'd like to ask you to please like subscribe you get it type out some text layer new solid it can be any color doesn't really matter hit ok add the fractal noise effect to the solid change fractal type to dynamic progressive and change noise type to block Go to transform settings and scale it up a bit. Lower the complexity. Add an expression to the random seed. Time star seven. And now our noise automatically animates. Right click and pre-compose the fractal noise. Move all attributes and hit OK. Go into the fractal noise composition. Go to brightness under the fractal noise effects controls. And bring the brightness all the way up to where you don't see any squares anymore. It's just white. Hit the stopwatch and go to the beginning and then make it dark then we're gonna go over here gonna hit the keyframe button to where it stays the same and then we're gonna go to the very end and we're gonna make it dark again command d duplicate let's go to around here ish maybe yeah looks good go to the effects controls Uncheck the stopwatch on brightness. On evolution, change it to something different so that way it's not the same exact noise. Go to the transform settings and increase the scale. Search for the luma key effect. Add it to the top solid. Make sure it's at key out darker and then increase the threshold. You don't want a whole lot though. In fact, this is probably too much. We might need to increase it more. Go back to our first comp. On the text layer, go to the track mat section and select luma mat. And now you can actually see the fractal noise layer inside of our text. Select everything, right click, pre-compose, move all attributes. Command D to duplicate. Look for the Gaussian blur effect and add it to the top layer. You're gonna wanna zoom in a little bit just to make sure that you're doing this right because glows are easier if you're looking in closely increase it you don't want the first layer of glows to come off the edge very much now duplicate the layer in the next duplicate increase the blurriness even more then make one more duplicate increase the blurriness even more select all your blur layers pre-compose move all attributes hit ok Add the tint effect. Make sure that your blending mode is on screen. And now you can change your text glow to any color. So like if we wanted our text to be glowing red, we can change it to red. Or if we want it like blue, we could make it glow like a really interesting blue color. You can make it glow like anything. So now that I have it glowing, something very interesting that I can demonstrate is you see this little button here? It shows you that your background is transparent. And if I do that, you'll see the darker areas are more transparent than the lighter areas. Select all your clips. Pre-compose again. I know we're doing lots of pre-composing. Command D to duplicate. On the bottom clip, hit S for scale, and you're going to change this to negative 100. P for position. Move it down under your text. Layer. Transform. Flip horizontal. And now it's like a mirrored image. Make sure that your bottom clip is selected. You're gonna make a kind of like a box over it. Hit invert. In your mask settings, increase expansion and increase feathering to make it much more like a reflection. In effects and presets, look for the Gaussian blur effect and increase the blurriness. And now it kind of looks like it's on some sort of shiny floor. And that's it, so uh... Bye, I guess.